62 years old. One morning I woke up and my sight was totally different. Glaucoma is the commonest cause of permanent irreversible blindness in the world. And it's a process which involves many different mechanisms, has many different symptoms, many signs, many outcomes. So it's very slippery. Losing your sight to me is worse than a heart attack. People come here with legitimate fears about losing their vision. It's really important to catch them early and, and treat them effectively uh, early in the course of the disease. Dr. Katz looked at me, talked to me for a while. He told me what he was going to do. At 8 o'clock that next morning, I could see. Glaucoma is a disease where once you've lost the vision, there's no way to get it back. So, so much depends on early diagnosis and prevention. For someone like George Spaeth to have put his whole life together in leading um, such a spectacular service here at Wills is just a, an unbelievable achievement. We've really come far, and it's a great testament to Dr. Spaeth and to the service here that we're going strong after 50 years, and we hope for 50 or 100 or 200 years more. The last 50 years have seen the introduction of amazing technological advances, but this really doesn't replace that ability to relate directly to the people that you're dealing with, which is at the heart of good care. It's very easy to look at that computer and to say, well, the pressure is this number today and it needs to be this number, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're helping your patient and you're not necessarily improving their life. So the first thing I say to anybody when they come in is, how are you? They will routinely say something like, well, I just had a physical examination of my doctor. No, 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 not what your doctor says. How are you? And they look at you kind of strange and then they say, oh, oh, well, well, I'm terrible. I just learned my daughter's got pancreatic cancer. Then at that point, you know that you're starting to talk to things that are important to them, not these peripheral signs. You have a lot of plans when you're young, and one of his plans was not losing my eyesight. Uh, so I came to Dr. Spaeth and the glaucoma practice at a very frightening, probably the most frightening time in my life. They're in it with you. Um, and they walk every step with you. And I think that having that partnership with your physician is a very, very important thing, and I think it's a very unique um, aspect of Wills. 50 years, I think of the tremendous contributions that have been made in all areas of our mission. So all those patients taken care of, all that research pushed forward, and of course, all the trainees who have gone throughout the world and created the future for us. One of the nice things about working here at Wills is people want to come here to train. We have fellows from Brazil, from India, from China, who come here specifically to work with Dr. Spaeth and the rest of the glaucoma service. It's so interesting to meet these people, to hear their stories, to learn about how glaucoma and ophthalmology is practiced in other countries, but also to see why they came here. What is it about here that they would like to learn and bring back to their countries? We at Wills are literally influencing the way people are cared for in at least 34 countries on six continents because that's where our trainees are working and of course they're having ripple effect too. That's pretty exciting. We're doing incredibly exciting things. We're saving vision in so many patients but there's still so much further to go. Some doctors from Will's Eye Institute are making rounds outside the hospital to help screen for and treat glaucoma. Trying to target high-risk populations that underserved and diagnose patients early with glaucoma and getting them into the system. We're continuing to write more grants to get more money to follow this cohort of people and it's a significant way to improve access to eye care and identify people at risk for glaucoma. We do a lot of exciting things here at Wills in the way of research. There's a huge amount to learn. You want to keep that edge in terms of moving things forward, and you need research dollars in order to accomplish that. I married an absolutely beautiful woman. Fascinating and brilliant and very gentle. She helped me immensely in my career by focusing me consistently on what counts, which is who we are as people informs who we are as doctors. I don't think you can be a fine doctor without having some sense 
of what life is about, because that's the big picture. The difference between a place that does adequate, good B-plus work and a place like Wells that's doing A-plus work and holds itself to the very highest standards and is inventing the standards for tomorrow, the only way we can do that is to be supported by our courageous patients and the philanthropists and people who have the foresight uh, to understand those challenges. I've seen Wills, in my involvement for the last 25 years, develop into the greatest eye hospital in the world. It's America's first eye hospital. It's been a first in teaching. And so when you think about eye care, I think you think about a cornerstone. And when you think about a cornerstone, you think about Will's Eye Hospital. Looking into the far future, meaning the next 10 years uh, and beyond, I think we have the, the tools and the know-how and the technology that we can actually prevent glaucoma from developing in the first place. We have a sense of commitment to improve clinical care, to push forward the boundaries of research, and to train the next generation of people who are going to ensure the eye health, not only of Philadelphians and Pennsylvanians, but of Americans and of people throughout the world.